Hello friends, welcome to my channel Data Making. I am starting a new video series. I am going to uh, explain you about uh, various concepts in the Apache Spark data frame. So how we can create a data frame, like there are various ways to create, create a data frames, like Spark data frames, using a programmatically or using a data source APIs, like uh, uh, getting the data from uh, uh, different file formats, like different files uh, uh, formats, like uh, CSV format, uh, Avro format, uh, uh, from the uh, Avro file or from the Parquet file or from the JSON file, XML file. There are various way, right? There are different uh, data source APIs available in Spark. So using both uh, Scala API and as well as uh, Python API, which is PySpark. And also we are going to see how to get the data from various uh, RDBMS database and NoSQL database and uh, uh, streaming like uh, uh, system like uh, Kafka and other information. Okay, so let's get started. So this is going to be a first video where uh, I'm going to explain you how to create uh, 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 the data frame using uh, uh, programmatically or we call it as manually. Okay, so how, how uh, this is I created a simple uh, uh, let me minimize my recording window. Uh, I created a simple project. Okay, so uh, this is uh, uh, my project name is Apache Spark data frame practical tutorial. Okay, so uh, this is uh, a SBD based Scala project. Okay. Similarly, I will be creating project for PySpark as well as for the same uh, uh, example. Okay. So uh, in the SBD uh, build.sbd file, I have uh, added the dependency. It's a uh, Spark SQL dependency. All our core API, data frame, and data uh, Spark SQL, all these three uh, libraries are placed in the single package. Okay, Spark SQL. Okay, even uh, streaming also placed it here. Okay, so from the Spark 2.x uh, onwards. Okay, so I added this dependency. Okay, now I I, I build this project as well. Actually, actually, I refreshed the SBD uh, project, so it is got built here. Now let me explain you the program. Okay, so uh, so I took a three approach. Okay, so uh, programmatically uh, itself. Uh, there is a three way you can actually there are many ways actually so i just took a three uh, main approach how do you create the data frame okay first uh, we'll actually import the necessary uh, packages and uh, uh, classes or we call it as your namespace and class right so uh, this is the package which i'm uh, creating okay so uh, com dot data making dot apaches dot spark dot data frame and uh, uh, these are the some of the class i'm going to use i'm going to use the row and spark session uh, from the spark apache spark uh, sql and i'm going to use the for data type like uh, string type integer type and uh, uh, struct type and struct field why i'm using struct field and struct type i'll explain in the later pro later program so i'm going to use the uh, case class it's simple like uh, uh, pojo class in java okay so if you are people from java background it's just a simple class which is represents a user like user id and user name and user city so with these three properties, I'm going to create the data frame. Okay. So, uh, yeah, before going to that data frame is, uh, if people who are not aware of the data frame, data frame is like, just like a table in RDBMS. It is, it will have a set of column, one or more columns or uh, one or uh, uh, zero or uh, more number of uh, uh, rows. Okay. That's what, uh, data frame is a collection of rows and uh, columns. Okay. Now, uh, so this is I just created a simple uh, 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 Scala uh, object class, okay. And in this I am going to uh, put a main. Uh, I I written a, I created a main method, okay. Uh, then now uh, so inside that I put all this uh, example of code, okay. So first what we are going to do is just after printing this uh, print statement application started we are going to create a Spark session object. How do you create a Spark session object? Uh, in Spark session uh, class you just use the builder method and followed by you can provide the uh, application name and master url and then using this uh, uh, dot get and create method which will return the spark session object okay so using this only we are going to interact with the spark cluster and run this code okay so i am setting the log level as uh, error so i don't want to see the info message because it will be a lot of message because we are going to let, write a lot of codes and run it okay so first approach so in the first approach, I just uh, segregated as a block one, block code, block one, one, two, three. Okay, so in the first approach, what I'm going to create is, I'm going to create a list of tuples. You know, tuples is basically a, a, a kind of a, a set of elements. It's okay. So uh, 
uh, each tuple has uh, three elements okay one is a user id user name and user city similarly i have five tuples so this list contains five tuples so you can actually convert this uh, tuple into uh, uh, rdd list of tuple insert into rdd okay that's what i am doing it here uh, to convert uh, uh, the scala object into rdd using the parallelize method so spark dot spark context dot parallelize of if we pass the users list then it will give you the users rdd okay which contains uh, uh, tuples five tuples and uh, i am actually creating a columns okay so what are the columns user id user name user city now using the spark session uh, object you have a function called create data frame okay what it takes is it takes rdd rdd of uh, this uh, uh, five tuples it has this rdd contains three five tuples so it will give you data frame okay so it will give you data frame but the data frame will not have columns it will have columns basically it will not have the columns uh, user id name instead of that it will have a, a different underscore one underscore two three like that because we did not provide the column names we just provided the uh, the values inside that okay so before uh, uh, so uh, let me run this code okay so i will just comment out this code okay this two one line okay i'll just uh, comment out uh, these three lines of code okay control slash okay the multi line command time did okay now let me run this so we'll just uh, look at the uh, the approach one output okay we'll see output of approach 2 and 3 later so it is going to create a spark session object and it is going to create the uh, um, the list of uh, uh, tuples and we make the rdd from the rdd it is going to build the data frame okay i just want to show you without giving this columns with just rdd of uh, the tuples uh, how it is creating the data frame i just want to show you that so still it is taking time sometime i'm running on my uh, intellij ide in my local mode see if you look at here see so uh, see this approach one output it has created a column name like underscore one because we did not give the column name so uh, by default it it assigned the column name as underscore one two one three so now we don't want like this we want to keep the actual column names like user id name and city okay how we do that we'll see okay so i'll just let me uncomment this so what we are doing is so basically this uh, we have this data frame right you apply the again 2df there is a function called 2df and you pass the columns okay so what you are saying is a column is actually sequence of column names okay uh, you just give the all the columns like i trade one by one and give the all the columns to this df function which will apply the columns to this here the existing data frame and it will give you a new data frame with the proper uh, column assigned to the uh, each uh, uh, row value so basically it takes column uh, basically it gives uh, all the user 1 2 3 4 5 it will have user id as the column similarly user name and city okay this is the approach one so in the approach two so almost similar like this so instead of we are creating a, uh, a simple tuple uh, the list with a simple tuple we are going to create a sequence sequence is also it's a collection object right sequence of row object basically data frame is a collection of row object so let's create the row object okay <clears throat> so now once you create a row object so what you need to do you need to give the row values so, so like user id name and city this is for the first uh, row this is for second row third row fourth row fifth row like that so i am creating a sequence of five rows row object okay so then I am also creating a schema so we need to provide a schema a schema in the sense is column name so how do you provide the schema is uh, basically you need to use the uh, struct type okay to provide the schema for your uh, data frame okay so and you have to provide the array of columns right? basically multiple columns will be given so array of column one so in the column one you need to define using a stack field so stack type of multiple stack fields that's what you define a schema so in stack field you pass the first argument as column name then data type and followed by the uh, it's is a nullable or not nullable that field okay you can true or false 
i say all the all is null level column is so true okay so now uh, so again that is in the spark session object you have a function called create data frame you pass the rdd okay rdd of row object so how do you convert this uh, sequence of uh, row objects into rdd using a parallelize method and also pass the schema so once you pass the rdd of rows and schema then it will give you the data frame again same five rows will be written data frame with five rows this is the second approach what is the third approach third approach is we want to create a case class so basically you want here we add a list of uh, row object list of row object which is a sequence of row object or you can say collection of row object right collection of row using row objects we build the data frame here collection of user objects so you have domain you might have domain classes or uh, specific uh, business business functionality classes right so with that class object how do you create the data frame so example if i have a user uh, class class called user that's what i defined here uh, case class so in uh, scala generally all your pojo classes are using case classes so what the class we created user class with the five three properties user id name and the city okay so how i am going to use it is basically i am going to create a collection object which is a sequence of uh, 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 user user one object so how do you this is a creation of uh, object uh the class of you pass the arguments okay so one to uh, first is the uh, uh, first one is the value for the user id okay property and this is the user name property and this is user city like that we just create sequence of five user object now using this user object you create a data frame okay so sorry you create a rdd okay now you have a sequence of uh, user objects create rdd okay so using a parallelize method if you pass the case class uh, Uh, collection okay the user user object collection you get the rdd okay now again you just pass that rdd to the create data frame function from the spark session object it will give the new data frame so i just print uh, uh, just uh, selected the all the data um, five rows from this data frame so using the show command so like how we saw um, uh, collect okay so collect is the Uh, action operation on the rdd you apply right similarly show is the function where it actually gets all the values from basically it will get uh, the number of uh, rows you provide in this uh, uh, this argument and uh, uh, it will get from the data frame it's like collect operation and we can say truncate equal to false basically if you don't give truncate uh, the column uh, length actually column length will be wrapped so sometime you don't see the full value so you can just give the uh, uh, second argument as false it will truncate okay let me run this program and show you the output so all the output will be same because we use the same example i just want to show you how do you different way uh, different uh, way to create a data frames okay so one is we saw using the uh, uh, sequence of tuples like collection of list of tuples we took collection of tuples and we created rdd then we assign the columns then we use the uh, collection of row object with the schema we create a data frame third is we took the collection of user object and we created the data frame so these are the like commonly used ways you can actually manually or programmatically create the uh, the spark data frame using scala api okay so uh, i hope this video is helpful let me show you the output as well okay so this is the first approach without providing the column name and then we provided the column so basically in uh, here use it says data set basically because the data frame is the collection of uh, 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 row object that's its data set we it says in spark 2.0 it says data set which is basically collection of data sets nothing but it's because typed uh, because it is a typed uh, set okay that's what it said so again uh, uh, we have we applied the columns that's why you see the column user id name and uh, <coughs> city okay similarly second approach same values are coming third third approach short put also same i hope this video is helpful uh, please subscribe to my channel to get more technology videos see you in the next video friends